on work day. Trying to update my computer. Mm. Let's get a little light in here. Oh my gosh, it's raining. Well, that's unexpected. I'm just kidding. I knew it was raining. I just need some light. So, <clears throat> it's official work day. The laundry's done. Kitchen is clean. And it is time to install our brand new Yak Attack anchor trolley. The last anchor trolley I had was a piece of crap. Um, it was basically two of these and some paracord with a very exciting little carabiner and that was not cutting it. So what we're going to do today is I have all the pieces laid out for this awesome Yak Attack installation. I'm going to go over the pieces. I'll let you peruse the instructions and then we'll get to it. Okay, so instructions here. Let's do a close up. So if you will, you can pause it, read the instructions, and then proceed. Doo -doo -doo. All right, that's enough. Okay, so we have got on each end, we have a, these awesome little pulleys. Two screws, and these screws have got self-locking self waterproof seals. You put the screw through this end, it comes through this end. And as it locks down, it squeezes together. And as it squeezes, it creates a watertight seal on that hole that you just made. So we have each of those, these nice things. Then on either side, right in the middle, we have our cleat. And this is a nice small cleat compared to some. Um, and then we have these two cleats, which makes the Yak Attack really special. Uh, you put these kind of catty corner along the top, along the rail that you want so then that way that top line doesn't creep over the bow of your boat and get all wonky before you know it you're fighting lots of cords you don't know what's going on is this it is that it my ropes all messed up and then our paracord <clears throat> and our triangle now a lot of the reviews online said that this triangle was not very strong so we'll get the most out of it that we can and then after that we'll go to something else all right let's take a look at the yak um, so issue number one, when I pulled off these old cleats, let me show you here, when I pulled off these old cleats, uh, of course I had some rust because I'm just learning how to do this and I didn't do it very well. I didn't get, uh, marine screws. So what we're going to do is when I install, uh, before I installed, I took a piece of number two PVC bucket. I stuck it in there and then I melted it over. I'm going to end up screwing a new hole here. Um, but wherever this needs to be for the next one, I wanted to be able to screw it efficiently. So what we did was we found a new place and we, or the old place, and we covered it up, melted it on, and now it's hard as the yak. So that's what we did. Uh, this was the original cleat that I had. The original cleat, uh, I needed to fill one of the holes. And, <clears throat> and then the same thing for this one up front. So, and then I sanded all of them down so they're almost flush, but not really. And then from there, we're going to do new holes, mark everything, figure out what we're going to do. The new cleat's going to be here. So I'm going to do uh, probably about here, and then probably about here for my line manager. And that will keep the, this piece, the top piece from coming up over the bow problem I had with this other other one is that I had a string way up there and then I had a string way back there and instead of staying down here it would either creep over the side I couldn't find it and it was really hard to move anything or it would creep up and it would be sitting right here because that's the parallel place so these two extra little cleats will help with that so let's mark it up let's do it in my own defense, this was the first time I had done any kind of welding on the kayak, and I picked up one of these on Amazon. It was a whopping, like, 12 bucks. Anyways, um, <clears throat> it really did pretty awesome. I was pretty impressed. It took maybe 
five, six minutes to do the entire thing. Long story short, I filled in the holes. If you guys have any comments or ways that I can do this better, please let me know. I am learning and pretty excited about it. It did pretty awesome. Okay, so what I need is I need this thing. I don't have a marker long enough to go all the way through that hole. That there are them holes. So what I've done is I have come up with a way that, let me see if I can get this in this. Oh, oh God. Oh gosh. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. Let me redo this. Okay, so we have got, this is our pulley, right? And so <clears throat> I can't truthfully put my marker through there. Meh, it just doesn't work. It doesn't fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to work smart, not hard. Right? So we're going to put our screws in there and we're going to lay it across where we want. Right? And then from there, I'm going to use this. I share my pen. This one's a pre- Whoops! There goes the cap. A pre-drilled hole. And then we're going to go right here. Right? Measure twice. Cut once. Eh, I could go a little bit over there. Perfect! It's a perfect! Now, what we're going to do is we're going to switch it around. And we're going to do exactly the same thing over here. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Push up! Cleats a little bit different. I can actually reach in there and get the holes. Um, so I'm going to line up said hole with one, like that. And then I'm just going to... Mark the other one. Two said holes. Okay, now, these very exciting side plates. Now, we could put them on like this, and they would sit like this, but what I have seen and, and what I have actually I did on a different kayak and it worked quite well is I'm going to turn them sideways, just like this, right? And it's going to help a little bit with just uh, keeping that line really, really smooth. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here and at the angle I want, right here. And then we have marked it. Now we're gonna take that same one. We're gonna move. Let's move. Move people, move, move. And I don't know about you, but I like the vibe label. I don't want to mess that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right down here. We're going to come here. And we're going to go right about here. And that'll work. Maybe right there. I think there will be good. Right there. And we're going to go one here. And then one right here. All right. <clears throat> yes. The two magical, awesome, wonderful drill bits that we will need for this project is <clears throat> a five and thirty-two inch drill bit for the screw holes for the pilot holes, and then a whopping massive big boy of a three-eighths drill bit for the pulley walnuts. So, or well nuts if you want to be all specific and all that okay let's get to it let's draw some stuff it's gonna be awesome
For the record, do you know how scary it is drilling huge holes in your kayak? That's super scary. Super scary. All right, next thing, I'm gonna take our self-sealing well, guys, and we are going to put them in. Mm. If you have a problem doing this, which sometimes you will, you can kind of go in sideways. And I'm not boring out the hole. I'm just making sure that there's no pieces hanging out right there. Boop. And then they close in really nice. Or they go in really nice. Boop. I didn't expand the hole at all. I just cleared out some of the gunk from where I screwed it. All right? I'm going to get all this little extra pieces out of here. Do not put silicone on these guys. It will cause them to lose their grip. <clears throat> I like grip. It's good. It's good. It's a good thing. Next, I take both these little guys. I put them right in here. Bloop, bloop. Right? And I am going to push in and screw. Soon as they start, or this one, the first one starts to feel like it's got enough, uh, like it, it's kind of firm, I'm going to move on to the next one. All right, and I screw it in. All right, now it's lightly tightened. Now, what I'm going to do is, you, if you over tighten, it'll break it. <coughs> But on the inside, it's pretty cool because it pulls it towards it and creates a bubble or like a rubber blob, basically, that seals it into place. All right. And you do this with both and don't over tighten. Truthfully, I'm probably putting this a little bit too far back on my kayak. Yeah, it's a little far back. They say like 12 inches, but mm, be fine. Fine. Same, same. Okay, next. Silicone sealer. <laughs> Do you like <laughs> my lovely jar of silicone? My bottle of silicone sealer. I'm super excited. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> him, him. What I'm going to do is I am going to get eh. this on here. This goes in here. I'm going to put some silicone sealer in between there and there. Silicone sealer goes in there. And what we're going to do, this one's all gooed up. I'm just going to start it a little bit here. And then I am going to get the next one. Put some goo down in there. Right. Ah! Oh, dropped on the ground. Ugh. I'm gonna lube it up. This is how I get messy.
moved down to our caddy corner little cleats super exciting all right so another way you can do this do i know if this is right no does it work yeah it works pretty well i'm gonna put some goo right there and right there do i put too much goo on probably is it still a lot of fun heck yeah it's fun boop now when i start right there And right there. I'm going to get most of the way in with these. And I'm just going to because I want it to carry it around. I'm going to have to spin it around so it locks down. It's got all the goo. I'm going to take all the extra stuff off. I mean, not all of it, because I want it to have a nice protective coating on there, but I don't need all of it in there. I just want to make sure it's on every groove. All of the places have the goo. Important thing. Where's the end of my line? There it is. Come, come on. Oh, it's gonna be a big knot. I'll figure that out in a minute. Okay. So what we want to do next is we take our end, right, and we're gonna feed it. Ooh, I'm bumping things. It's gonna be noisy. Up through the trolley line. Ooh, look at how sexy that is. Ooh, it's. Ooh, it's so nice. Get it. Get it. We're gonna come across, through. Oh, let go, let go. All right, cross this, like this, through here. And down. Now, I don't know if you can see how awesome this is, but this, if it has an anchor on it, is not gonna come, going to come up over. There's no way, it's way down here. And this piece, if I have it locked in here, I am super excited, is gonna stay exactly where I want it to be. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so now we have to insert, <clears throat> get this onto our trolley line. One side we're going to have a permanent piece on, and the other side we're going to make it so that if we need to expand it, like let's say it dries and it gets super tight, then I can take it off if I need to change off the cord or if I need to do something or, you know, expand it or make it short, I can. This is a shrink wrap. So what we're gonna do is this goes on first. Don't be like me and forget to do that first because the first time I did it, I totally did. And I made it super hard. Oh, I'm dropping stuff on the floor. Okay, now this is gonna go through this piece of triangle right here and then come back. What I wanna do is I wanna crimp this on itself like right there. If I remember correctly, this was the hardest thing done in a long time and it was super annoying to do. Let me see if it's going to do it. Ugh! Oh, I'm so weak. Ugh. Well, you know what we're going to do then? If I can't do it with regular strength, I'm just going to hit it with the hammer. It always works better when you hit it with the hammer. 
I was not able to do both of them. I was only able to do one because I'm weak and I had to use the vice over there in the corner. The vice! All right, so now from this point, shrink right up. Yeah, that's pretty good. Last part, you take this, the other side, minus <coughs> my little wrinkles there. Mm. All right. And I get it so it's right like this. I don't want it too terribly tight. I still want to be able to have some slack. So I can bob and weave my thing in here. All right, it's a good place, All right? So be down there, <coughs> and from there, I'm gonna tie it off. Whatever kind of tie you choose to do. I'm going to do a few half hinge hitches. Right. If you want, you can cut off the extra. Go ahead and cut off the extra now that you know where you're going to need to tie it. And then that way, it's a little bit more manageable for you. If you found any worth in this video, if you got something that you needed or information or you were just perusing the Yak Attack and you don't know what you want, give me a like, subscribe even, and let me know what you want to see and what I need to fix and what we should do next. Thanks guys. Have a great day.